Didsbury today because Rob has been in touch and he's strongly recommended we come to Durba Square. Now, not just recommended, strongly recommended. It's an Nepalese restaurant that he says is great for meat eaters and vegetarians. Told me I need to try the Kima Pav and the Chili Paneer. Well, Rob, I'll try both of those and a load of other stuff. Hi, man. man. Welcome to Dubai Square. Thank you, mate. How this are is, you? I'm all right. Thanks very much. Lovely yeah. looking place. Yeah, it's a typical Nepalese place. Looks Nepalese. Like. I love a bit of Nepalese. Yeah. It's very well loved in Manchester, I think, Nepalese cuisine, isn't it? Yeah. And what does Durba Square mean? Uh, Durba means the palace. I like the palace where the king and queen live. Perfect place for <laughs> yeah. me. Perfect place. And are you one of the owners? Uh, no. Uh, they're the owner and... The chef in the kitchen, he's the high owner. Yeah. Hi there. So the owner's going to cook our food up. Yeah. And then his daughter, you're married to. Yeah. And uh, the pair of you are going to look after us while we're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, I can't help but notice you've got Cobra on draft. Okay. Can we have a little? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Angela. Hi. Hello. So I've met your dad, mm -hmm. owner chef. Yep. I've met your husband. Yep. Who looked after me as soon as I came in. Okay. And you are front of house. Oh um, yeah, helping my dad in his business. We all have to help our dads. Yeah. Kids, if you're listening. <laughs> um, okay. Where are we going to start? So I think we should start with momos, which is very popular in Nepal. I was hoping you'd say momo. <laughs> okay. Well, let's grab a couple, then I'll have a white one. And I'll have a little green one. And so, what's the difference between so the two? So the white one is the chicken momos, and the green one is our vegetarian one. For those that don't know, and I'm sure everybody does by now, mm -hmm. what is a momo? So momo is similar to dumpling. It's very, very famous street food in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So momos, we usually eat with the sauce. Is it good? It's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> so it's a typical Nepali sauce. I don't know, the chef makes it with his secret ingredients. So we, we don't want to cry. That chef's got a lot of secrets. <laughs> you can tell just by looking at him. Look at that, there's a man with secrets. <laughs> um, honestly, this is great. Now, I have been looking forward to this. Look, oh! <laughs> the bone comes straight off. Let's put that over there with the momos. So, talk me through this because, oh my God. So this dish is called lamb lam nalini hari. And it is one of our very, very popular dish here among our customers. Oh, that is. The lamb that we use in oh this one, God. we marinate 24 hours before and it is cooked in very, very slow heat as well. And the spice again, I don't know about the spice. The chef doesn't tell anything about the spice. What's the chef's problem? Why won't you <laughs> tell anyone anything? Uh, it's a secret, I think, for him. <laughs> is that any good to you? Oh, yes, it's very good to okay. me. My only worry is I'm wearing a cream cardigan, oh. which was stupid, wasn't it, really? Because <laughs> I just want to smash this down. This is this. This is worth coming here for just okay. on its own. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Now, Rob said, mm -hmm. the guy that suggested we come here, mm -hmm. that I needed to try the chili paneer mm -hmm. and the kima pav. Okay. Do you know what, chili paneer, I'd say, over the last two or three years, has just become one of my absolute go tos. Like a, a favourite. Okay. Yeah. Are you just going to say it's a secret again if I ask how your dad cooks this? Um, well, we it's cooked in a seizwan sauce, and the seizwan sauce th uh, that we use in this is homemade as well. Fantastic. <laughs> And now let's try this because I'm a big fan of a keema pav. Yeah. So it's effectively just a mincemeat sandwich, isn't it? Mm, yeah. So we just put the keema in the bowl and then have it. I'm so do the it keema like is one. good, a uh, lamb keema. Is it good? You know it's good. <laughs> he knows it's good. He knows it's good. <laughs> These two don't know it's good yet because I'm not going to let them have any.
So Rob told us that you cater for meat eaters. Mm -hmm. You bloody do. Yeah. He also said that it's good for veggies. So should we have a couple of uh, veggie options? Yeah, we have some on the table for you here. I hope you might. So this one is um, Gobi Manchurian. So it's actually a cauliflower. You test me and tell me if it tastes like cauliflower. It doesn't taste like cauliflower. <laughs> it is cauliflower. Yeah, too. oh, I don't doubt you. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it? Spectacular. <laughs> All part of the Indo-Chinese that we yeah. know is massive in Nepal. Big over here as well. That's amazing. But this one here, I was watching your dad yeah. cook this. Yeah. Isn't that bad boy? <laughs> I was watching him cook this. The way it puffs up yeah. just got my attention straight yeah. away. It is called Chana Vatora. Chana Vatora. Yeah, Chana Vatora. So the bread, you just break it and then dip it in some chana and then have it. So it's actually very popular this in India. So it's like a street food in India. Okay. Chana, of course, is yeah. uh, chickpeas. Yeah, yep. it's chickpeas. Oh, we should have should have started on that. <laughs> That's amazing. And this would be in. Just kind of street food, walking to work, yeah. just through the yeah. street. Yeah, you just grab it on your way, have it to office, or just um, coming back from home. This has made me very happy. <laughs> Let's have a little cheers as well with Gurkha, traditional Nepalese beer. There we go. Cheers. I don't drink. Do you hear that? <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's right, I'll have it. Got my little takeaway, and here's the good news no stain. I survived. Listen, Rob was bang on. He says it's good for vegetarians. It is, all the veggie options, spot on. He said it was good for meat eaters. It is, all that meat was cut perfectly. Everything about that place is great. It's the sort of place you could miss if you were just going down the road, but I urge you, visit this spot. It's incredible. And as always, if there's somewhere you want us to go, a little spot you think deserves a highlight, a shining light on it, let us know below. I'm gonna have to finish this. Latest.